Um, okay, so the Batman. So was on a four day speaking course. Had had a I had a coaching call on the Monday. I wanted to make sure all my homework was done. Mm-hmm. So I left Sunday night free. I was like, Sunday night, I'm watching Batman. At the end of the course, I've done my homework, coaching call next day. So I was actually a little bit tired when I did watch Batman. So the, the opening bit, I, was, uh, I wasn't fully engrossed. You watched it on Sunday night? Yeah, not late. Like it was like a sick, half sick show. I knew it was like a Yeah, you have to give it three hours, mate. That's why. Yeah. Give it three hours. Yeah, yeah. So oh. I knew that. I was mindful about that. Before we get to that, I went to a place called Staines, right? Which is. You went to Staines in, in West London. Right, okay, you know these things. I don't know, but fine. Because my family, obviously, you know, nearby, not in Staines. And uh, okay. I went there. What's wrong with Staines, sir? Staines is a nice place? No, nah, man, I saw something. <laughs> I can't, can't unsee, man. Like, people's just, just, you know, zooming around in these cars and, like, people sitting on the top of these cars, like, hanging out. And, like, you had all, all these orange girls walking around. Orange <laughs> girls walking around. Yeah, man, like there's, there's fake town and then there's like orange girls in it. And then uh, yeah. just loads, loads of pikeys, man. Just madness. Like we were in Mackey's, had a quick Mackey's because we didn't have time. You mean and the traveling community, girl? Right, the traveling community. They were kicking off with the doorman. Like they were like, what, what do you mean I can't come in for the toilet? Oh, what do you mean? Like just <laughs> kicking off for no reason. I was just like, what is happening here, man? Oh, man. Just, sounds just, sounds uh, delightful, I gotta say. Zero decorum, right? Zero decorum. Anyway, so we get to Batman, we go to View Cinema. And um, were they pikey thoughts? One, no, they weren't, thankfully. So, my thoughts on Batman were I love how dark the, the villain was. I really appreciate a dark villain. I feel like, oh, by the way, spoilers, <laughs> yeah, oh, continue. Yeah. Got it, got it. You've had more than yeah, enough time I mean, now. I mean, that's if you're skipping terrible. this, yeah. if you're skipping this, I'm sorry, man. I actually know what? I'm not sorry. I'm sorry you've taken this long to actually go and see it. Not because I, I think it's a great film, I'm like, you're missing the hype, and it? it's a bit like the Squid mm. Game, you didn't watch it in the time. Got no one's talked to you about it. But God, I, I, I still I still haven't watched Squid Game, so we did kind of. What was I going to say to you? Yes, so I think since the time of the Joker, there's been mm. a good prominent buddy, Joker Bane. Obviously, the Riddler in this one. Now, obviously, my memories of the Riddler are from the animated Batman series, in which not Jim Carrey. No, well, okay, yeah, there's that, but I didn't really think about that. I thought about it. I think, but Jim Carrey's a very soft one, and even the one in the animated one, it's really lighthearted, and the, the baddie's always shown to be, like, a bit stupid. Like, they're clever, but they always get caught in the end by Batman or whatever. Yeah, but that's that's animated series. I know, I know, I know, I know, but it's, it's so nice to see them transition to proper... Like, remember Bane? Remember Bane in um, the... the, uh, the Dark Knight Batman. Rises? No, no, no. Before, prior to that was a Batman with the Joker not the Joker where Arnie was Mr. Freeze I remember this yeah yeah so this is like again so you had George Clooney as Batman right, I don't Poison remember Ivy. any of those Batmans right, right. I can't lie Poison I Ivy it. was with Bane and Bane was this weird little kid who had scrawny little arms and then they injected things into him and he got a little bit bigger but he was still really like weird right and then, okay. then you see what Bane becomes and you're like oh my god this is proper Bane in it so again yeah, I enjoyed yeah. I enjoyed the Riddler okay I thought it was a proper baddie dark I like the opening sequence. I like how they did it. I liked how the narration was over the top. I really, I really appreciate that. Simple. What was the opening sequence again? You just, you assumed it was him, but he was kind of looking through a window and then you had, Oh, da Mari. oh right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really, I really like the music. Thing. You know, for, the thing is for me, it's not the music, man. The music makes it dark for me. Of I course, really, you bloody really loved it. Yeah, yeah. Then, then, then I'm just like, oh, Batman, Batman, you know? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Batman. Oh, Batman. Oh, Robert Pattinson. When he had the Batman suit on, he looked good. When he didn't have Batman suit on, he kind of looked a bit like this scrawny little emo. You know, we just he just didn't uh-huh. look... He wasn't... He, he was ripped, but he was too lean, man. I was like, if you're going to be Batman, you need to be big. You need to be filled out a bit. Unless you're Christian Bale, I don't know how Christian Bale worked it. I don't know. He just had the Von Passen just looked a bit scrawny for me, and his hair was a bit unkempt, and he just looked a bit homeless. I didn't yeah. like that. I did not yeah. like that. that. Do you know what I mean? I, I like Rob Passen. I think he got the voice down, like he had the Batman voice. I don't he think he had the voice. No, I thought had, the voice is okay. I don't think it was no, anything no, like for taking my breath away, impression wise. No, no, but to do the Batman voice, you know, it, it takes a certain. You have to go low in it when you do it. I think uh, the problem that Robert Pattinson had was that he couldn't he couldn't split himself from Bruce Wayne to being Batman. Like yes, he was yes. he was like caught in the middle of the of the two of them. 
And he, 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 and, he, and, he, and he sort of just, he tried to make Bruce Wayne depressing and he tried to make Batman angry, but he came across as depressing again. And I was like, you're not, you're, you're not doing either part of your role justice. So it's a bit like how people used to say, uh, Toby Maguire was a good Peter Parker, but he wasn't a good Spider-Man. Andrew, is it, what was the surname? Garfield? Is that right? Yeah. Mm. Andrew Garfield was a great Spider-Man. He wasn't a good Peter Parker. And then people were like, Tom Holland is the best of both. Both, yeah. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's, that's, that's how uh, I kind of see superheroes now. I like that analogy. It's a really good analogy, actually. Because when you look at someone like Christian Bale, he was very flamboyant and you felt like he was Bruce Wayne. You really but you have to like accept that the two of them are very different Batman. <laughs> no, they, so, are, they yeah. are. One thing I was slightly confused about asking you is that in terms of Batman, Batman, Batman timeline, because at the start he doesn't call himself Batman, does he? He calls himself like Vengeance or something, and so he's not—he's not properly known as Batman. And at the end, I presume the yeah. person with the Riddler is maybe the Joker. Is that the person who's laughing and saying, "I'm your friend"? Obviously, right? Okay, but in terms of timeline, but see, I didn't know if they were going to be. This is going to be a Batman that encompassed. You've had Bane, you've had Joker already. No, so like apparently backwards, isn't it? Apparently, it mentioned in the film that this is his first like two years of being yeah, Batman, Batman or the the. Yeah. the detective yes. that's what yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what he called yeah, himself yeah. right so i was like okay this is his first two years hence why people were like oh he's quite rough around the edges yeah yeah and no, i was like okay I, I, I get it i get he was rough around the edges but in my eyes i was thinking this is just i don't know it didn't it didn't hit for me um i mean there's scenes in there where i thought what's the point of this scene like and the prime example is hmm. you know the car ride scene where he's he's chasing penguin yeah, in that, in that, in, oh, in, yeah, in his car, yeah, and he's yeah. chasing that penguin. Yeah, but it's, it's, I it's sat there. No, I sat there and, and I watched it, and I was like, "This scene's going on way too long," because yeah. I'm thinking about this scene taking too long. Definitely. And that was exactly halfway in the film, right? And I'm like, "This scene's taking the piss." It just feels like they've added in a lot more of the Batmobile to show off the Batmobile. Absolutely, no, no. It's and all, there all was no need to show it off because a lot of it was just driving tailing, and I was like, "There's no purpose to this." It's not even building tension. I know you're going to catch him. This is shit. And, you're going to catch him. Yeah. and all, the, all the highlights of the film, like the big action moments were all in the trailer. That's what really annoyed me. Yeah, I didn't watch the trailer. So. Yeah, I watched the trailer a lot. And I was like, okay, all the best parts in it action-wise were in the trailer. I was like, right. Then you've got people saying it's a detective film. It's not a Batman film. And I'm like, there's a bit of a give and take with that. But all right. I guess if that's how you want to go with it. But when when think, when Parent said he got goosebumps after, I'm like, he's he's lost. Man. No, he but he's a true like diehard. He's a he's a Batman lover, and he there are people who who just love Batman. They love everything about Batman and the Batcave, and he's definitely one of those. Um, I'm interested to see where it goes. Like you know, I, I read a really good review where somebody had said something. Like, Remember, if you watch if you'd watch Christian Bale's first Batman in Isolation, you wouldn't be like. That's amazing. No, you I'm wouldn't. Back. And I'm, I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt of saying it can be a, a springboard onto yeah. bigger and better Batman films. It can be. Obviously, they're trying to set it up with like the Joker at the end and yeah. the traditional massive wacky hairstyle and the laugh. Yeah, maybe they're going to do that. But I'm just thinking, okay, let's see where you take this next. And another part of me thought, are people just fucking starving for a good Batman film? Because yes. the, last, yes. the last ones have just been so underwhelming. But you know, they're you know, the making this problem, one even better than it actually is because of the recency bias. The problem with recent Batmans has been, and this is the thing, right? I was thinking about this actually yesterday. Obviously, he's not like a real superhero, right? So I think putting him in films with other DC Justice League stuff, it just doesn't serve Batman. Batman needs to be a standalone character. But then, you know, you look at someone like Tony Stark. Tony's not, he's human as well, but Tony rolls with the other guys like Thor. no 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 you can't compare those two no fucking way no, but you're because... the human they're saying i'm saying the humans right he's not yeah but superhero. the difference is is that tony's using like superhero tech. level power tech. batman's yeah, yeah, just yeah, using yeah. his mind and a yeah, little bit yeah, of tech yeah. no no but i'm just saying the comparison right and obviously you know dc versus marvel whatever i think for batman i enjoy batman when he's just batman i don't like batman when he's with other people because then he dilutes batman yeah he needs to be on his own ben affleck is a good actor but it's just weird. Whatever he did, Batman was just weird. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like I don't, I don't, just... I don't think he had enough time to sort of have his own thing. 
yeah, I feel yeah. like he was. Role. Yeah, I feel yeah. like he was just sort of thrown in with like Superman, and they said, "Make it work." And he's like, yeah. "All right." Mm. That's tough. Very tough. Very tough. I kind of felt um, for him. So I'm happy. I thought what was interesting is how the dark take on uh, Bruce's dad. Yeah, I think that was That's a nice angle. little change. That's a new um, angle. Not the whole in the alley they got murdered. Da, 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 da. Well, yeah. well, they did. They did get murdered. Obviously, I'm I'm really glad that they didn't recap over the fucking murder again. Yeah, like yeah, how yeah. they have in nearly every film. I was like, let it go yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm glad that they're just skipping over that now, and you kind of just know that's what happened. Um, yeah, it's nice to see that you had a checkered past, and I think one other thing that people really like about the film is that it continued off. It continued off air. So, you, so that have you been on the website? So there's there's a whole website challenge to, dedicated to Batman after. So you know in the film where he said you are El Rata de Lata, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. The clue. If you type in Rata de Lata into Google or something, it takes you to the website, and you go onto the website and you have to answer a bunch of a bunch of riddles to get through the questions to unlock all this bonus info of like pictures and stuff and all the riddles clues. So it's like a way to get fans involved offline to build up buzz around the film basically and to keep it going for longer. Okay. Um, I thought that was very smart. And it's it's little things like if you're if you open another tab on your phone or on your computer to try and type in the riddle, it blocks you out the website and you can't access it again. So I'm like, oh okay, they really gave it some actual thought. They didn't just throw it together as a gimmick, they really tried to make it as realistic mm. as you possibly can. The riddle man. So yeah, I was very, I was very impressed with that side of it. Um, some people thought it was just gimmick. I thought that's actually quite, that's quite smart because obviously, smart. it's kind of sad how people, when they used to watch films, would go home and call the number that they heard in the film and hope it would ring. But really? in this case, yeah, you must have heard about that. Yeah, no, people used to do that. Okay. And now, if you go to the websites scene, they're going to try and go home and go to the websites, but this time it actually works. So I guess that's a nice little hack that they've used to get around this. Impressed. Yeah. And it's about having the whole get everyone involved, go and talk to your friends about it, encourage them to watch it. It's a nice little free marketing method that's just put together. Mm. I think that's a it's a very wise way of doing it. Yeah, look for me, I'm happy. I've been in cinema since January, man. I've taken a bit of hiatus. Start start the year watching one film a week, smashing it. There we go. And then I'm but then I'm around films to watch, there's like nothing. See, you've got to ration it. You've got to be careful. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. well see, I don't know about ration. I just, when, it, when the going is good, I just get in, man. And now there's uh, obviously Batman, there's Dumbledore film coming. There's, uh, what else is there? There's something else I want to watch. I Morbius. No, I don't want to watch that. It's, uh, oh, thank God. I don't want to watch it either. <laughs> yeah, like I see it and I'm like, mm, like it's Marvel, I should watch this. But no, I don't. Uh, yeah. I've, 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 I've got I'll wait till it's out of Disney. <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah. Doctor time, Strange, that's it? it. Doctor Strange, that's it. That's what I saw. I was like, yeah, Strange. Yeah, I'm yeah. watching Strange, man. Looks dark. No, of course. Uh, a couple last things on Batman. I think oh. I've spoken to people and they've said, appreciate the fact that he's a different Batman. Um, he's not the same as Christian Bale. Christian Bale went away to train with Ra's al Ghul for years and then came back as like an accomplished fighter. This Batman has just learned to fight from Alfred. And that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all he's had to He looked look boss, man. Like, he can beat yeah, him. he looked good beating up a bunch of thugs. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. And now we need to sort of see how he moves in the in the bigger fights later on. Whoever that's against. Interesting. So that's, that's how Batman's going to be now. So everyone's going to just have their own timeline for Batman. It seems like it, yeah. I think yeah. we just have to accept it for what it is. I thought it was going to be like the long Halloween comic, but okay. it wasn't. It started on Halloween and then it just progressed past it. Oh, yeah, it did start on Halloween, didn't it? Yeah. It did, it did, yeah. Mm. And finally... Yeah. When you see the Riddler at the end, he's like a scrawny little kid, and then you rethink about the murders he's done. I was like, yeah, he didn't look that strong, did he? Doing all yeah, but things. you don't have to be that strong, do you, to wield a flipping weapon and hit someone in the head? Brunt force trauma to the skull, that's not that difficult. Is that how he killed everyone? Oh, no, no. I'm confusing him with the... Carmine or Carmichael, whatever his name is, the one who's strangling. That's the one I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah, that's that's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was different. Yeah. See, yeah. So just, um, go on. obviously, I'm going to benchmark it against the Nolan series, right? And I don't think that's fair because Christopher Nolan's a flipping legend in the game, and he's made fantastic films. 
I think this producer, I hadn't heard of him. So I think he's probably getting his feet wet in like a bigger film or something. Respect for trying. Um, and I guess we'll just have to give it the benefit of the doubt. But honestly, I wasn't, I wasn't that blown away. Everyone who said it was fantastic. Some people watch it twice. That's not a twice worthy watching film. No, no way. Twice. No way. Okay. Twice for three hours. That's, that's a big investment in a slow moving film. Mm. Would you see it again? Well, straight away. I could watch it in the future. Mm. And the guy who played, the guy who played Gordon, he was, I think oh, he I like was him. really good. I really like him. He I mean, was I very he was good. Nice He's in a lot of films I like. He always plays. Uh, yeah, but he Cena played Royale, the role he? very well. Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, He's yeah, the main yeah, guy yeah. in Cena Royale. He played the role very well. I was very impressed with his, uh, dem his demeanor, his overall character, how he was sort of mm -hmm. developing he into the role. Himself. Yeah. Carried himself just like how Gordon would in the comics. Like, I was very impressed. First Black Gordon? I don't know. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think it was the first black cat. No, was it? Was Halle Berry a black cat woman? I'm making that up. She was a cat woman, yeah. She was. Okay, she wasn't the first black, black cat know. woman. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. Happy days. Happy days. Happy, Happy days. Yeah, yeah. Happy with yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Good segment. All right.